Now with me is uh, Sivu Mangungo. He's the CEO of OpenTenders.com. They run a similar portal and he joins me now. Sivu, how is this different from what the government is doing? Well, first, as an entrepreneur, let me start by commending what the government is doing in launching an ETN portal. Because as an entrepreneur, the major difficulty that entrepreneurs had was one, finding the information of where the opportunities are. And two, for them to be able to grow better, knowing exactly who they're competing against, against what price. So the e-tender portal that the government is introducing will help very much in that avenue. Now, how is it different to what we're doing? Mm. What we did was already, we knew upfront that government has a number of institutions, over 660 institutions. So we are aggregating all 10 opportunities in those institutions. Now what government is saying is going to do, they're going to do that part for us. Now the second part that we were doing, where we are different, was that we were providing the information directly to the telephone of the entrepreneur through email notification. And that's the value add that we're providing. Because as an entrepreneur, there are over 300 tenders being issued on a daily basis. Even if you put up a portal, to wade through all those trends to find the one that is relevant to you is a difficult process. So we will continue to do that. So what government has done is made it easy for us to be able to source the information now. And then the additionality that we're providing will be emailing to the entrepreneurs the opportunities directly related to their trade. See, so these, these two will be complementary. It doesn't mean that government will be taking business away from you. Not at all. In fact, government will be enhancing our ability to deliver to our clients. Because right now, we have to employ a whole lot of people to try and get all of that information. Mm. So government is going to do that part for us. But what government will not be able to do, which we have the software to do, is to do the email notification directly to the entrepreneur. Say, for example, an entrepreneur is in construction. Mm. He's not interested in tenders relating to uh, anything other than in construction. He wants to receive tenders relating to construction. So we are able to wade through all of those tenders, clean them out, and send them directly those which are related to construction. And you'll get another entrepreneur, he's only interested in tenders relating only to clouting construction. He's not ne necessarily interested in tenders in the Transkei, in the Eastern Cape, and all of these other places. Mm. So we will do all of that for them. So we save that. That's the first difference. Mm. The second difference is this. What we provide as well, once people have tenders and they have a contract, we provide financing as well. We provide financing between 70,000 rands and 2.5 million to small and medium enterprises. Contract finance. Now, government will not be able to do that. If you recall, the National Development Plan said in order to grow this economy, small and medium enterprises must be assisted in two areas. One, access to information. So government is helping us by facilitating that to mm -hmm. attend. The second aspect was there must be assisted in respect of financial institutions being able to give them money. So we have funds to be able to provide uh, those kind of funding to assist uh, entrepreneurs. The third thing that we're doing, we are in, th in fact a business social network. Mm. We're not just the e-tender side. We are a business social network as open tenders. So that means this. When entrepreneurs come into our platform, they're able to upload their profile to sell themselves to the rest of the other businesses that are members of open tenders. Mm. What that gives them is this. It gives them a market reach beyond what they otherwise would have without open tenders. Mm. So that's the third thing. And the final thing that we do, we provide training. Mm. So those are the four differences which we provide and the additionality that we provide to what e-tenders does. CV, we'll have to leave it at that, but there's so much definitely to still talk about. Like, what do you do with people that aren't technologically savvy? But that's a conversation for another day. That was Sivu Mangugo. Uh, am I saying that right? You're saying that correct. Fantastic. Thank you for <laughs> He's the CEO of OpenTenders.com.